Okay, this is a great uh, stretch for your upper traps, uh, MET style stretch. I'm going to show you how to do your, your left, your left side. So what I'm going to do, left side, left arm is just going to hang loosely down, um, down towards the floor. And I'll have my shoulder just slightly back. Yeah. So if I've got a bit of a naturally rounded shoulder, I'll just consciously have it back a bit. So I'm going to do my left hand and look all the way around to the right as far as I can. And then I'm going to drop my chin. So it's like I'm trying to put my chin on my shoulder. And then with my left hand, I'm going to reach down towards the floor. And as I reach down, I wait to feel the stretch between the base of my skull all across the top of my shoulder. When I first feel that stretch, so just the beginnings of it, I'm going to stop, hold it there. I'm going to take this hand, put it behind my head. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently be pushing my head backwards, 30 to 40% effort, but I'm going to block the movement with these fingers here. So I'm pushing back, I'm blocking the movement. I'll do that for 10 to 12 seconds. So let's say that's 11, 12. I'll relax. I'll encourage my head down further and reach down further with my arm. Feel the new stretch, because I'll be able to go a little bit further now. Ease off slightly and then just hang out there for 10 to 12 seconds. After that time's elapsed, I'm gonna push my head back into my fingers. Again, for 10 to 12 seconds, push in. Then that's 11, 12, I'll relax. I'll bring my chin down further and I'll reach down further with my arm. Again, I can go slightly further again. Find the new point and back off. So this is number two, yeah? Hang out here for 10 to 12 seconds. Okay, this is my third and final one. So I'm gonna push my head back again into my fingers, blocking the movement. Wait for my 12 seconds, 11, 12. Relax, reach down with my hand, down with the chin. Find that new point of stretch, ease off slightly, and then just wait there 20 to 24 seconds. And after that time's elapsed, I'll just come out of it. And waiting at the end there is there's something called a GTO. And what we're doing is we're trying to almost factory reset it. So you hang out in that new position and then it will say, okay, this is a new muscle length and it will leave it be. And then it will stay, but never go into a full stretch. Just feel that beginning of the stretch. And that's kind of where you're working.